ट्रेंडिंग वीडियोज और पॉपुलर प्रोडक्ट्स राइट लेट्स से इंडिया वर्सेज ऑस्ट्रेलिया टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री वर्ल्ड कप फाइनल आईलेट्स विच इंडिया वन बट इन माई ड्रीम्स यू लव कैसिंग सो थिंक अगेन इट इज सपोज टू मेक योर एप्लीकेशन लाइटनिंग फास्ट एंड रन फास्टर राइट बट इफ यू आर नॉट केयरफुल कैसिंग कैन बिकम योर द वोस्ट नाइट मैन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एल सो यू फोर कॉमन प्रॉब्लम्स विथ कैसिंग दैट एवरी डेवलपर मस्ट नो Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. So in this video, I'll show you four common problems with casting that every developer must know before adopting them or using them. Okay. So don't worry, I'll also share how to tackle these problems. So this is the sixth video on our uh, system design basics playlist. So you can explore this playlist for other must learn system design basics concept sets. Okay, back to business. So as we know, casting is used to store frequently accessed or requested data for faster retrieval. So if you don't know the basics of casting, uh, pause this video. Watch my detailed video on casing and then come back to this video. So click on the i icon to watch the detailed video on casing first, and th then I'll request you to watch this video. So let's dive in. So the first problem that we face is the thunder heart problem. Okay, so imagine this: you have uh, set up your entire cache setup to speed up your application. Basically, you store data cache in a key value pair, right? And you can uh, set the expiry time and algorithm for this uh, cache keys. But suddenly, let's say large number of cache keys expire at the same time. Okay, let's say key one expires and key two also expires. Now, what happens next? So all those requests now will hit your database simultaneously, right? Because they are not present in the cache. So in that case, your data, uh, your database can get overloaded. Let's say in scenarios like during a flash sell or you know, a big billion day sell, let's say, right? So in that case, the database might get overloaded so in in order to solve this what you can do you can follow two techniques okay first of all don't set the expiry same expiry time for all the keys in this case so you can add a random offset to your ex, uh, your uh, key expiry times so that they don't expire all at once so the next technique is to prioritize your database traffic so in this tech uh, in this approach what you can do you can allow only critical business data to access the database data while uh, we can delay the other non essential request until the time the cache is you know back online right So that was about thunderhead problem. Uh, let me just change the slide and let's discuss about the next problem that is the cache penetration problem. So in the cache penetration problem, uh, this problem happens when a key does not exist in the cache or even in the database. The key is missing in both the places. So then what will happen? Your application will keep querying the data uh, for both the cache and database simultaneously, right? Which is uh, not present in both of them. so this will put unnecessary pressure on both the cache server and the database server uh, so how do we deal with this then in order to deal with this what we can do we can cache a null value for non existing keys that means we can set up our cache such that if something is not present in the cache as well as in the database what we can do we can set a null value for that uh, non existing keys in the cache right so so that uh, the request will terminate at the cache level only or in the second technique what we can do we can use a bloom filter which is like a pre check tool whether uh, a particular key is existing uh, in the database or not so using bloom filter we can determine if a key might exist before hitting the database okay so in this layer we can include a layer of bloom filter here if the key doesn't pass the filter you save your database from uh, unnecessary extra queries okay so if you want to learn more about bloom filters check out my video where i have explained in details how bloom filters work and in the part 2 of this video i have explained the mathematics behind it so click on the i icon to explore this okay So that was about the cache penetration problem now let me just change the slide and move on to the third problem so the third problem is the cache breakdown problem okay so this is kind of the sibling of our first problem which we discussed that is a thunder heart problem so but this is specific to some hot keys i mean what what do you mean by hot keys hot keys are those keys the data of which is accessed a lot like uh, trending videos or popular products right let's say india versus australia 2023 uh, world cup final highlights which india won but in my dreams so when a hot key expires now in this problem hot key basically expires let's the key was uh, this and the value was the highlight url and this key one expired from the cache so what will happen in this scenario everyone rushes to the database to get the data right or get the video url so which will create a massive spike in the database traffic correct because that is let's say this is a very demanding video that information got deleted from the cache itself so all the request will now come to the database so to prevent this what we can do the main thing is to never let your uh, hot keys expire do not set any expire time for your hot keys so what we can do instead manage them manually or uh, write a custom refresh strategy to manage those kind of keys okay so that was about the uh, cache breakdown issue 
now let's uh, jump on to the final problem while managing cache data so this is the big one actually and the problem is the cache crash so what happens when your entire cache goes down itself the cache server itself goes down so every single request now again goes straight to a database right and let's say database is having a very bad day so in that case ma managing huge load will be very difficult for your application in order to handle this scenario what you can do you can in incorporate a circuit breaker in front of the server so what it will do so if your cache is down using a circuit breaker we can stop sending traffic to the database altogether for a while basically it's better to return a temporary error rather than you know overloading your uh, database and uh, killing it so then uh, next technique we can use is to use a cache cluster so a cache cluster definitely improves the cache availability right if one of the server is down one of the cache server is down other members in the cluster will be available to serve the request incoming request so these are the two techniques we can uh, use to handle the cache crash problem right we will we'll create a separate video on circuit breaker in detail so don't worry about that so yeah so caching can feel like a double s sword you can think of it like that okay so it's, it's a live server when it works but if you are not prepared for this four type of problems that you can face in a cache it can bring your application to its knees definitely to recap whatever we discussed in this video the first one was the thunderhead problem so in this we can randomize key expiry time the second issue was the cache penetration problem so in this we can cache null values and use a bloom filter to tackle this problem the third problem is the cache breakdown problem so the key to uh, tackle this problem is to never let your hotkeys expire or set a custom strategy for their expiration so the final problem was the cache crash problem so here we can use a circuit breaker or use uh, cache clusters to tackle this problem so yeah so that was about the four different kind of problems in uh, cache servers so if you found this video helpful don't forget to like it and uh, share this video and subscribe to my channel for more such a content like this so also check out my playlist on system design where we combine system design concepts with real life use cases click on the icon above to explore the playlist you can also check out my other playlist on learn out of the box where we discuss about this type of interesting tech topics and you will definitely uh, find it interesting and you will definitely love it so click on the icon and explore that playlist if you got any doubts about whatever we discussed in this video uh, put them in the comment section and i'll be sure to answer them so we're targeting to reach 1800 subscribers by the end of the next month so keep supporting so thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one thank you